Wells, Matt Vulcan Gas and Fire. Um, got the 2016 Flex R1 here. Um, this is set up with a Predator uh, generator. Um, this together is our turnkey system. Um, I'm going to do a, an overview of the machine, uh, of both machines. Um, start up and uh, I'm going to load test the, the machine. Um, we've got two 1500 watt loads here. And then I got the welder cranked all the way out. According to the panel, this is a 20, 20 amp uh, welder on, on full blast. So we're looking at something like 2200 watts. So all these, all three together should get us to close to our five kilowatt target. Um, so I'm gonna start out with the, the gasifier first. Um, standard features is the, the automation system. Um, this is our control box. Um, as you can see, um, we got the, the agitator system that controls the, the grate shaker and also the hopper agitator on the back that keeps our uh, fuels flowing. Um, a new feature which is really cool and really nice um, is the, the ash clean out. Just undo this real quick. And you got a door, you got a tray in here, take your ash out. No more digging the machine out. It makes a lot of dust and breathing that stuff in. This is just so much nicer. It's a little hard to do one-handed, but it sure beats the alternative. Um, and then, of course, on the back, the the centrifugal filter. I don't call it a cyclone because it's not a not a true cyclone. Um, actually, I think it works better this way. Um, and you know, as well, you got a, a door for for debris removal, removal, and it is huge. That'll give you at least a day, minimum. You're probably looking at three or four days. Condensate removal. The machine does come with a ball valve. Um, another nice feature is the, the large capacity you know, you're looking at a couple days here um, worth of condensate depending on fuel I, I guess that's probably worst case scenario um, if you're not making a lot of condensate you could be looking at a couple weeks before you'd ever have to drain it um, and then of course we got the the gas cooler and the hay filter and our integrated blower um, another feature for the gasifier, if you don't purchase the Predator, we do, uh, th th this gasifier does come standard with the, the, the air fuel mixer control box as well. That does come with the gasifier, but you will, if you do purchase that and you want to set this up, you will need to weld in or fabricate the O2 sensor into the exhaust system of, of your application. So that's the only uh, issue there. If you don't um, have that uh, ability, then I would recommend getting the turnkey. You know, we don't charge any extra for the, the generator. We don't mark it up or anything. We, we buy this from Harbor Freight, and we offer it to you for what we pay for it out the door. It's around $1,700 on sale. Um, if, I think Harbor Freight always offers it on sale. So. So for now, I'm just going to say it's 1700 for the, the generator, but we do charge um, to adapt it. You know, do the O2 sensor, build the, the adapter, you know, and set everything up for you. So that is the basic overview. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fire this back up. I, it was running, so, so just to make this video a little faster. I have other videos showing the actual startup. If you were to start this up cold, you turn turn the blower on just like I did, open the ball valve here, 
And then you remove this cap first, put fire to it, let it run for a minute or so. Um, once you got a good um, amount of smoke coming out, then you transfer the the parts over. You, you cap this back, cap that off, and then remove the uh, the intake air. This is the the air supply to the jet system inside the gasifier. Um, oh, you know, I, I did overlook a few things here. Uh, something else that's new because of the tank, the filter tank, that that changed the game for us a little bit and allowed us to do some some new stuff with the reduction and we've added at, uh, three inches to our reduction zone so that's another um, um, advancement to the machine um, other than that um, it's basically the same as last year's M4 um, as far as the gas fire technology goes um, we probably will be adding the the removable jets as standard equipment um, as well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to light this. And then it's a little bit. So this thing's ready to go. So now to go to engine run, I'm going to switch the, the blower off. First we want to, especially when you have that lit, don't ever just shut the blower off. Always uh, shut that first. Also I need to turn my automation system on, so I have that on now. Transfer our gas over to the generator. And then fire this up.
strong. We can probably get more than five kilowatts out of this. But, you know, after Boulder Engineered, I'm just going to mark it as five kilowatts. But we probably we could get about six kilowatts out of this machine. I'm going to shut the generator back off. So there it is, this is the uh, 2016 Flex R1, um, more cool things are going to happen with this machine, um, we probably will be coming out with a liquid cool condenser for it, um, we will be working on a micron filter regenerative system, um, some other technologies with our, our reduction that I can't really talk about, we, we, we will have to file for patents on that. Um, there's also some other stuff that we're going to do with exhaust uh, waste heat. Um, we will offer a um, auger feed hopper system for this machine. Right now you're looking at about an hour run time or less on a single hopper load, um, which is fine. I don't even do that. I, I, I let it run for about a half an hour and I dump a scoop, scoop of fuel in it roughly every half hour. And... You know, if you get yourself some of these shop towels, which um, you, you will need um, for servicing the machine anyway, this, these make a great scoop when the towels are gone. So, but yeah, as long as you keep the fuel fuel up on it, it'll run very stable. Um, if you try to wait and, and let it um, go to the very limit, then you might run into issues. It's better if you just keep it topped off. Um, but if you have the auger feed system, it'll always maintain that. Um, that's all I can really think of for now. Um, this is it. Um, we do offer the, the micro if, you're, if this is a bit out of your budget. Um, we do offer the micro. This is uh, We offer this for $1,400 plus shipping. Um, we do have one on eBay. Uh, we do have to mark that up. To 1600 um, we do uh, turn those out a little faster um, you're looking at roughly two weeks if you do it on eBay you're about a month if you uh, buy it straight from the website um, the reason it's more on the eBay is because of eBay's insane selling fees so <laughs> that's why it's more anyway uh, I appreciate you uh, all watching and uh, stay tuned, more to come.